Hey guys, welcome back to Never Tasted Better. Right now, I am on the pumpkin bandwagon, guys. All I can think about is making pumpkin flavored things. I made bakery style chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. Look how big these came out. Like, it's like half the size of my face. They're huge and they're so deliciously moist with a crunchy topping on top loaded with all things pumpkin and pumpkin spices. Guys, you gotta stay and watch this episode. Starting off our bakery style pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, let's go ahead and add two cups all purpose flour to a medium sized bowl. Add two teaspoons baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. For our delicious pumpkin spices, we have a quarter teaspoon ginger, three quarter teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon nutmeg. Add those in. Let's whisk it really, really well. We want to distribute all of those beautiful pumpkin spices all throughout our flour. Don't set that dry ingredient stuff aside just yet. We're going to add one and a half cups Ghirardelli bittersweet chocolate chips. If you're a sweeter person, you can add the milk chocolate chips. I just prefer a more darker chocolate. Make sure to evenly distribute with the whisk throughout your flour mixture. This saves us from overmixing towards the end, so I like to add my chocolate chips now. Overmixing your muffins is bad, very bad. Go ahead and find the largest mixing bowl you can find out of your cabinets, and we're going to add our sugars. We have 3 quarter cup white sugar and half a cup light brown sugar. Add those in. Add three quarter cup canola oil. Using a whisk, let's combine them until they're a sugary, oily mixture. Now we have our star of our muffins. We have one and a quarter cup pure pumpkin puree. I like to use organic, but just make sure it's pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie mixture stuff. Let's whisk again to combine. Jack, you're standing in my spot. That's my spot. That's your chair. This is my spot. Let's add one tablespoon pure vanilla extract. We have two large eggs, we're going to add them both. Make sure they're at room temperature. We are going to beat them after each addition. You just wanna make sure they're really incorporated into our batter. And we're ready to combine our dry into our wet mixture. Get rid of that whisk and exchange it for a spatula. We're going to use the fold technique. Go underneath, up and over until it's all mixed together. This recipe makes six jumbo sized muffins. So find the largest muffin tin you can find. This actually holds mini lava cakes but whatever, we're using it for muffins. <laughs> Let's coat it with olive oil spray really, really well. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and fill each muffin tin to the very, very brim. You don't need muffin holders. I promise once they cool off, they'll pop out, no problem. You are going to need some organic cane sugar. You're going to sprinkle this generously over each muffin. This will give it that beautiful crunchy texture on top. You don't wanna skip this part, guys. We are going to bake these guys at 400 degrees for five minutes, and then we are going to reduce the heat to 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes more. Henry, look. 
What are those? Can you say muffins? Let them cool off 10 minutes before you try wiggling them out with a knife. They pop out no problem if you sprayed the pan really well. If you guys love muffins, you should check out my muffin playlist. I have a ton of delicious muffins on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Hey, where's the pumpkin? Right here? It's all in there. It's all in there together. I can't find it.